Good morning everyone, Lana from Sage and Sound here with day seven of the Challenge Your Perfectionism Challenge. How are you going with it? We're getting towards the end, so hopefully you've been able to take some of the exercises on board and are starting to make some changes. If not, don't worry, today's challenge is for you. So yesterday we set up the idea of starting to pare back some of the extra work you do if you're an overdoer or alternatively starting to do a little bit more action and work towards a goal if you're someone who tends to procrastinate and avoid tasks. Um, the reason that we did that was to work through seeing what actually happens and notice that it's just not as bad as we expect in our head. So starting to pay attention to how the reactions we actually get from the world compared to the reactions we think we'll get in our head. Those ones are often much more severe and negative and they're what keep that perfectionistic behaviour going. So that was the challenge and the idea was to keep going with that for a couple of weeks, noticing when you were able to step back or step up um, and putting down what actually happens in a journal. So that's the idea. But if you're finding it too challenging to work through that, then today is really going to be helpful for you. So today we're back to focusing on vulnerability and the way we're going to do that is by asking other people for help. So if you haven't been able to get started on your challenge of pairing back or stepping up, enlist the help of somebody else. There's a few different ways you can do this. Uh, you can tell somebody that you uh, trust and get their support, get them on board in terms of keeping you accountable, asking you what you're doing differently. You can ask somebody who's an expert in the particular area that you're working on. So, you know, if you're trying to move towards a goal, it might be about getting a nutritionist on board or getting a business coach on board, um, getting a study coach on board, getting somebody who can help you with a specific problem that you're working on. Or your third option is to reach out to somebody like me, a therapist, a coach, somebody who's going to be able to help you break the task down, look at your individual fears around change and um, sort of hold your hand and give you extra individualized support through the process of change. Um, this is a tricky one for perfectionists because it means acknowledging that you're not perfect, that you actually do need support and help from other people. So the exercise in and of itself is a challenge in vulnerability. So just asking is useful. But then, of course, the support you get back is going to be useful too. It's actually going to help you change more quickly and with less stress. So that's today's challenge. Reach out and ask somebody for help. Um, if you're interested in either my or Alina's assistance through Sage and Sound, we've got an online booking system on the website www.sageandsound.com.au where you can see our available appointments and book something in at any time. Or if you've got more questions about the process, then just email lana at sageandsound.com.au and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. So that's it for day seven of the challenge. See you tomorrow.